Hello guys, a quick uh, update on the ash top making um, with the neck plane. Um, just to show you, I didn't change anything on my uh, center curves, so we still have our angle, our neck plane uh, distance. Uh, my highest point of the arch. Uh, on this one I just play with with this. Um, the more um, the more stiffer there and the more you will have you know a little bump. Um, I like it like that because honestly when you make it with the CNC you cannot see the bump but you do as you want. Uh, I will put it like that for now. Um, the contour is the same, and um, also I, you can check my other video where I made I make the um, the upper plane and my rail. Those two rail. So what we need for this one is we need those helper, but we'll have to use a new plane <coughs> just for clarity. I remove those for now. I will add a plane here at angle at five degrees angle because it's the angle of our neck plane. I don't know if I can uh, <coughs> um, if I can uh, or you say that you know if I can fix um, this the the angle of this plane with the angle of this you know to have the parametric stuff but anyway it's not that difficult to change and now we'll add a drawing there, let's project this, those two lines on our drawing, then let's draw a line over there, make it, um, oops, sorry, I want this to be equal to this one and let's join these two together okay and now what we want we want to avoid to have two parts to make the the loft you know and I just realized that if I make a rounded corner over there I can use this as only one single line and as a rail so I tried and it worked so let's make a fillet let's go with six millimeters <coughs> for me it's all right because my neck plane stop maybe my fretboard if I am on short scale maybe stop something over there and uh, with longer scale, maybe I will have to make just a 4 millimeters radius. Anyway, it's just this little part over there, so it's not, it's not that much. And uh, also my neck plane is a little bit wider than my uh, wider, widest part of my fretboard, so no problem with this. <coughs> and... Um, that's it. So now let's patch our neck plane. Okay. Let's bring our helper surfaces, remove our contour and our center line just to be sure we pick up the right stuff to make our loft. And let's start the loft. So we go from there. We do not pick this part because we want to use this as a rail after. And we pick this part again, we stop over there. We want 
the center part to be tangent. We cannot use the tangent here because this neck plane is not tangent, it's at an angle, 5 degree angle. So, But our rail are tangent, so it should be alright. And now the moment of truth. Okay, let's pick it up. Alright. And let's make it tangent. And that's it. Let's stitch this two together. Let's remove our help and surfaces. And let's bring our something like that. And as you can see, it's really smooth. I really like it. <laughs> So you can play after with all the um, <clears throat> with all your curve if you want to change the the overall shape, but that's the the parts we have if we stitch those two together. All right. Nice stuff. So that's it. I'm very happy with the result and uh, I think this will be my new mold for my uh, laminated top. <laughs> we'll probably make them uh, at the end of the week. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, let's, uh, let's see you in the next video. Thanks.